Oh, purple. Let's go. It's been like, I don't know, five days, four days since the last purple. Yeah, maybe four days, yeah. I've kind of lost track of time. Let's freaking go, though, man. All right, here we go, boys. Oh, the arcane number two. It's time for me to gather some more points so I can uh, comfortably stay in the dragon rank. So I'm going to go for 80 mining right now. Uh, we're going to do blast mine 80 because I can get a few tasks done just going for 80 here. So I got a ton of dynamite, so no problem. Where's all this from? Raids. Yep, PVM gets me everything. It's pretty nice. I decided I'm just going to power mine iron to 75 because I'm actually getting significantly better XP per hour. About 40k extra XP an hour. 95 farming. Damn, dude. Ever since I've been doing like tree runs, you know, twice a day. I'm getting a level almost every day, dude. It's crazy. Oh, wow, that was easy. Hey, Master Casket. I don't know what number this is, but I hope there's some Zami wines in there. Here we go. Oh, it's a Mimic! Let's go! Even better. Wait a minute, I gained 100 League points from that? Alright, man, here we go. Hopefully it's good. Oh, shit, that's such a cool number, man. 15,000 points. Oh, yeah, screw that. 85 dags, bro. One of my boys hooked me up with a sick tip. I can just cancel it and get another one because I have a natural selection. 107, that's more like it. Holy shit, an elite clue. All right, let's uh, put our plan to action. If I can't do this, I'm putting it into Watson and making a mass clue and doing that right away because I can do all this. Oh, well, okay, that was so fast. Can't even do this clue, so. Straight into Watson we go. Holy shit, there's so many <laughs> goblins here. <laughs> So this spot I'm showing you is a pretty remote spot. Not many people know about it. I only found out about this when I was doing hide and seek with some friends a long time ago. And yeah, this spot's really good for easy clue gathering if you don't have the clue relic. Uh, just because there is like six, seven goblins. I prefer this over the uh, men in like the pub area because yeah, they're spread out apart. So it's kind of annoying. Oh, there it is. All right, man. Let's see what the reward for this casket is. Oh, Wines of Zami, let's go! Oh, nice, I just gained 25 million magic experience, cool. That's another 250 points. Longbone, come on, man. Wait, I got back-to-back -back longbones? What the f- Are you serious? Well, there's always something new, right? First medium of the day, here we go, boys. Oh, I completed 50 medium clues though. Yo, let's go second medium clue. Here we go. <gasps> hey boys, we got the Rangers boys. Ah, uh, damn it. There goes my manacle luck. Yo, best, best range boost in the entire game, bro. Yay, I just gained 25 mil attack XP. Damn, I'm getting so many 25 mil task completions. All right, that's gonna help me secure the dry rink a bit. Oh, there it is. Oh shit, 95 Slayer, right? There it is, 95 Slayer, boys. We finally made it to Hydra. But before I go to Hydra, there's one small goal I want to complete before then. And that is to do a sub-70 solo challenge mode rig. For this challenge, this is my theoretical setup. I might change things around though. But yeah, I'm going really, really hard on the range accuracy though because the toughest runes that I have to deal with are, I would say, Fasa. Fasa, because um, it heals a lot, it has very high defense in the challenge mode. So I need as much range accuracy as I can so I can actually DPS the boss down and, and kill it. So yeah, I'm going to be packing heavy range accuracy. And also, you know, the Rangers is going to come in handy for that. So there's a lot to talk about with regards to challenge mode raids. So a brief background, a challenge mode raids is a additional type of raid that you can do in Chamber of the Sirix. As the name suggests, it's harder. Uh, mainly the things that you fight, 
their stats are higher, so they hit harder and higher HP, uh, they're tankier, and also, you have to do every single rune that is possible in raids. You gotta do every single skilling room, every single boss room, and all. So yeah, it's it's a lot longer uh, raid. But the special thing about the challenge mode is that if you complete it under the time limit, so for solo it's under 70 minutes, you have a chance to get the metamorphic dust at a 1 in 400 rate, which allows you to transmog your omelet into the different bosses like Tecton, Fasa, and as many times as you want. Uh, but yeah, there's also tasks for the challenge mode raids. There is a solo completion where if you complete it under 70 minutes, you get 500 points. And there's also just one for completing it under time, whether you're in team or not, which is another 500 points. If I can complete a solo challenge mode raid, I get two tasks completed. Both were 500 points each, which is a thousand points. That will guarantee me pretty much dragon rank for the rest of, I would say, the league, most likely. Holy shit, that was such a good Vespila. Absolutely wild. Ooh. Oh. Oh my god, these majors hit so hard. <laughs> All right, 35 minutes, last floor, before home. Guardians, Fossa left, and Skeletons and Mudadile. Go, go, go. All right, everything's on the line, Fossa. If, I need to kill this guy fast, so. Claws, go. Yes, Claws hit. Don't hit so many zeros, please. Oh, okay. Man, Fossa took ages to kill. Alright, let's go, let's go. Alright, we got 18 minutes to do it all. Hopefully we can do this. I'm not sure, honestly. No idea. Please kill it. Come on, one hit. Please, just kill it. You got like 1 HP, bruh. Oh my lord. Holy balls, dude. <laughs> Come on, just, just hit something, brother. Alright, we almost made it. It was just one minute off. Oh, I completed a task of just completing one, but... We're really close. Literally one minute, 16 seconds off. Alright, so I know what to do for next one. Round two. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Alright, we just completed Tecton under 4 minutes this time, so I'm already a minute ahead. Damn, being on Taz is nice. I can hit over 30s with my rune arrows. Oh, ooh, Monka, almost killed myself. Nice, we got it. Whew. Okay, 40 minutes on this. I shouldn't have done that. I could have died. Finish me down at 46 minutes. I'm going to be going down at around 47. 23 minutes. I could get a scuffed ohm and die and all that jazz and I'll still be... Okay. Oh, it was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh my god, no, that is so unlucky. Ooh! What the f***, a 50? Okay, I have 20 minutes to clear Ohm again. Eh, a little bit under 20, not like 20-20, but... Let's go. 19 minutes to do all. I think we got it. Oh, Jesus. We did it. Oh, man. This ohm was good. That was a good ohm. That ohm took um, 18 minutes. Wow, dude. Holy shit. Look at the completions, dude.
CM Chambers Zerk in target time. So CM Chambers of Zerk in target time. 500 points each. 1,000 points. All right, I don't, I don't think I get a dust. Oh, I get a clue scroll though. Right? That's a good reward. Send me off. Appreciate it. Okay, well, our personal challenge is completed, so it is time to, uh, you know, on the next day, tomorrow, that is, to go and do some Hydra, you know, work on the rest of the Hydra, get the better gear, and start pushing the times further. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> Yo, those 1,000 points made my rank go down by, like... Holy shit, by over 300. I, I just gained 350 plus ranks. Oh my god! Alright boys, 75 mining. So that means I can go and get this Rune Ore task done. Okay, once I collect the Rune Ore, it should be a task, right? Yeah, 250 points for that. Hell yeah. So there's three weeks left in Twisted League. It will end on January 16th. And there's a few last big things I want to complete before that happens. Number one is ultimately try and get the metamorphic dust through challenge raids. Number two is to camp Hydra for the weapons and armor. We have reached the Slayer level today and in the next video there will be a lot of Hydra so we're going to be working on that a ton and on my chill time and editing time I will be doing a lot of AFK scaling as usual for more points just in case if the competitors get rowdy towards the end. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed as always. If you enjoyed, consider giving the video a like. Highly appreciate that. If you guys need a place to hang out, my friend Shaman Star and Bar is always open. Feel free to join us. And make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and ring the bell so that way you don't miss out on the next video full of content. And if YouTube content isn't enough, you can catch the Twisted League Progress live on Twitch as well at twitch.tv slash ricecup. That is it. I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and Happy New Year's.